All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you two examples using the Atomos Ninja 5, where it doesn't do as Atomos say that it does, and this is very specifically with the Xbox Series X and also the Sony PS5. Now, I'm gonna just dive straight into these two examples, but hang around until the end of the video because I'm gonna explain a couple of other things about how Atomos are basically saying on their website that the Ninja 5 actually does do HDR with these two devices and it quite obviously doesn't. And then I'll also go into a little bit of detail about the email that I had with Atomos support who apparently didn't even understand what it was that I was asking. And they also confirmed as well that one of the devices definitely doesn't work with HDR, so is in direct conflict with what they say on their website. So what I'm gonna do now is just kick into the examples. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show is the problem with the Xbox Series X. So what I'm gonna do is go into settings, and then I will come down to TV and display options. And then if I come over to video modes, what we can see here is that HDR10 is switched on. Now if we come back out of here, then if I go to 4K TV details, as we can see there, where it's saying playing games, it says your TV setup doesn't support HDR10 for gaming. Games won't be shown in HDR. Now, the thing is here, I have tried numerous cables, all cables that work for HDR on other devices with the Atomos as well. So there's nothing wrong with the cable or anything. And indeed, I've had it confirmed as well by Atomos that it doesn't work, yet it says all this on the website that it does work. And I will show that shortly. But what I'm gonna do now is just flip over and show you the PS5 setup now the problem with the PS5 is really annoying. So let me just show you the settings first. So if I come down to screen and video and I come along here, as we can see, HDR is switched on. Now I'll zoom into the Ninja here and you will see it is, it is actually registering that there is a HDR signal coming into it. That's gonna look blurry because I'm zooming right in. However, the Ninja is confirming that HDR is present. Now, if I go and launch this game, watch what happens. So at some point here, screen goes blank. So what's happening right now, there's a certain type of handshake that is not happening between the PS5 and the Ninja. This only happens with the Ninja. It doesn't happen with anything else that's HDR compatible with the PS5. Now, there is a possible workaround to this, although it doesn't always work. Now that is to unplug the Ninja as being like the output to the monitor and then plug the PS5 direct to the monitor. Let the PS5 refresh itself after the error and then rewire it back up again. And then sometimes the Ninja will pick the signal back up. So let me just show you what I mean now. So I'll unplug the send from the PS5 to the Ninja. Then what I will do, I will unplug the monitor cable there, which is plugged into the Ninja's output, and I will go direct into the PS5 with that. Now what should happen here, hold on. What should happen here is that the monitor will re-trigger now and the PS5 should appear on the monitor. So if we just give us a second, there we go. Now as we can see there, can't continue using the game or app to continue, connect your PS5 to the TV you were using previously, and then start the game or app again. Why that error is showing up is obviously down to something that the ninja's doing, but the, the PS5 seems to get extremely confused at this point. Now, if I just okay that, it'll go back here. Now, if I just rewire everything the way it should be, so plug the monitor back into the output of the ninja, and then plug the PS5 back into the Ninja. Now, sometimes this works, hopefully it will, but a lot of times it doesn't. So now what should happen? We should see a refresh now, there we go. Now when I go back to the game, there we go, it's gone in. Now sometimes that doesn't work or you have to switch off the PS5 and switch it back on and then do that cycle again of pulling the cables in and out. Okay, so those two examples there should clearly show us what the problems are. So obviously, 
doesn't work at all in HDR with the Xbox Series X. And the problems are that problematic with the PS5 that it almost makes the whole thing useless for HDR. Now, another thing here as well, it doesn't do HDR either with the Apple TV. And I've tried a couple of other devices, including the iPad Pro. And basically it's very hit or miss as to whether or not the Ninja 5 will actually pick up HDR from a number of other devices. Now what's probably even worse here is that clearly on the Atomos website, they are clearly saying that this is designed to work in HDR with the gaming devices that I've just used, or at least it's shown an Xbox Series X and it's also shown a PS5 on the website whilst saying that it is compatible for HDR gaming. Now it quite obviously doesn't do what it says on the website. So the website is completely misleading. Now what's probably worse again on top of that is that my like, you know, communications with their so-called support has been extremely bad. I would go so far as to say that their support was basically next to useless. I'm sorry to sound so negative about this, but when you spend this kind of money on something and the support don't even know what they're talking about and the website is basically lying about compatibility, then you're gonna feel very negative after something like this. Now what it is, I'm not gonna go running through the emails that I've had with their support. However, what I will do is put a copy of the emails within the description of this video. And you can clearly see from that that between whoever it's been answering the emails, they were not clear about what was going on, despite the fact that I was extremely clear and descriptive with the problems. And furthermore, later into the emails, they were answering questions about the wrong console when I was very specific about the console that I was talking about. And also they confirmed that they have never tested it with the PS5, yet their website obviously says that it's compatible with it. So with all those mixed messages, with the website not being like clear about what it is compatible with, or it's saying it's compatible with things that it obviously isn't, and with their support not knowing what they're talking about, I can honestly say that I would not recommend the Ninja 5 to anybody who is doing serious gaming recordings whilst wanting to use HDR. I would be very clear about something here. Every single thing that I tried using Rec 709, it was fine. So SDR, it was all good on Rec 709. There was not any problems doing that. However, if you're buying something very specifically for HDR because the website says it does, and also I confirmed this with an email before I bought it as well, and the, the return email definitely said it was gonna do what I wanted it to do, and it doesn't. Anyway, I think you'll understand where my head's at here anyway, so I'm gonna dive off. So yes, uh, my recommendation is don't bother buying the Ninja 5 because it doesn't work for HDR with the gaming consoles that Atomos say that it does. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.